All right, welcome back, everybody. So I just want to introduce our next session. This is a. Uh, Naoto Yamaguchi, but we call him Dr. Y because he is the <laughs> doctor of informatics. So we must <laughs> bow to him. He's always first class. Take it away, <laughs> Dr. Y. Thank you, Walt. Uh, today, I'm talking about a case study for resource control in embedded Linux container integration. Uh, it's a our AGL instrument cluster uh, expert group uh, activity. So at, at first, I introduced to the who am I. Uh, my name is uh, Naoto Yamaguchi uh, from Aishin Corporation. So uh, first uh, information is of Aishin Corporation. So head office in Japan, uh, Kariya City, Aichi Prefecture. Uh, manufacture and the sales of automotive parts and uh, energy and lifestyle-related lifestyle products. Uh, my career is uh, I received a doctor of informatics in uh, 77, uh, 20, 27, and an uh, automotive uh, real-time OS uh, platform software engineer since uh, 2027, and uh, uh, Linux platform software engineer since uh, 2011. And uh, uh, well, one uh, information is uh, uh, my uh, company is uh, ICNW, but uh, ICNW uh, combined uh, to the uh, ICN30. New company name is uh, ICN Corporation. So my history of the open source community is uh, joined to AGL in uh, 2013, and a uh, member of uh, AGL Instrument Cluster Expert Group since uh, 2019. It's uh, my uh, information. So and this slide shows uh, today's uh, presentation outline. At first, I talking about the background, the overview of the, our target systems. The second uh, section is uh, uh, present the uh, technical concept. So uh, this section talking about the technical detail for the, uh, our Linux container integration. So third uh, point is a uh, uh, case study for the resource control. Uh, it's a uh, main. Uh, topic of uh, this presentation. And finally, uh, I will uh, conclude. So first uh, point is the background. So AGL Instrument Cluster Expert Group uh, launched uh, 2019. So this uh, expert group motivation is uh, create a best platform for instrument cluster, not a platform based on the conventional RBI. Uh, there are different uh, system requirements uh, between RBI and uh, cluster. Uh, for example, uh, functional safety is required, uh, boot time required, and uh, another uh, uh, many requirement is uh, uh, required. So this platform is uh, built from open source technology. It's our uh, big motivation. So this means uh, need to independent from existing proprietary software component and uh, need to be able to choose open source software component or proprietary software component. Oops. So uh, this slide shows our generic system design. So generic system design for uh, ICG works. So instrument cluster and uh, RBI into one system. Uh, this one. And the instrument cluster is uh, required to functional safety. It's a, a big uh, differential point of the IBI. So characteristic for the, these systems. Connecting to one or more displays. Uh, connecting the uh, speakers. And the connecting to phone by Bluetooth, USB, and uh, Wi-Fi. This one. And the connecting uh, to USB devices. Connecting to on board of both sensor devices, uh, such as uh, 
uh, I2C UART SPI connection, this one. And uh, connecting to other in-vehicle ECU by CAN, Ethernet, and uh, etc., uh, this one. It's uh, our uh, generic system design. So what, what are the product development issue? So this issue is the quality and the robustness. First point is the functional safety. So instrument cluster uh, required to, uh, typically required to the SLB. So instrument cluster has uh, telltale functions. Uh, this telltale uh, shows uh, uh, critical failure information to driver. So next point is the uh, quality management. There are have separate quality requirement uh, between instrument cluster and RBI. So more detail is the next slide showing. So first point is uh, uh, functional safety. So main function is a very uh, function of our systems. This one, so requires advanced quality management, open innovation, cyber security, and uh, et cetera. Another part is the functional safety, ensures the vehicle safety. So this part is a what function does it including? So what is a safety function? Uh, which operating system used in safety function site? And which communication method do you use? It's a, a big uh, issue for the, our uh, system design. So first point is uh, uh, we use the isolation method uh, between uh, main function and the safety function. So uh, this, uh, me this method is uh, using the hardware separation or using the hypervisor, a uh, software-based hypervisor or not. So it's uh, highly depend to the uh, your system design. So instrument cluster approach is the uh, first point is the safety around approach. And the uh, main uh, target is the uh, main function site. So paths uh, between RBI and the instrument cluster. There are many paths in the automotive system. It's a uh, uh, RBI and the instrument cluster. So RBI side uh, requires the uh, rapid innovation. That means a uh, uh, new feature is added. Uh, short term development is required and a rapid bug fix is uh, needed. On the other hand, instrument cluster requires uh, advanced quality management. That means uh, uh, full pass coverage testing is uh, required to uh, the software stack. And the formal verification is uh, required, and the carefully bug fix is uh, needed. It's a uh, two software stack uh, parcels. Another one is the various function requires the uh, RBI side. So many play installs the uh, application, and the uh, application installs from, so from store. It's a RBI uh, software stack uh, typical requirement. On the other hand, uh, instrument cluster side uh, need, uh, need uh, uh, selected functions. It's a big puzzle for between uh, these two software stack. So we, uh, pretty def we uh, defined the QM, QM isolation method. That detail is uh, our answer to the puzzle issue is a uh, one more isolation method uh, which take one more layer to isolate it, the function by using the Linux container technology. So each software is uh, development on quality ma management level. This part uh, developed the, by the uh, instrument cluster level quality management. Another IBI side is a uh, IBI level quality management is required. When uh, all software are integrated, they mix into one big software stack. So their requirement will cross pro propagate around the one uh, big software stack. Our approach is uh, isolate each software stack using the uh, Linux container technology. We call uh, this uh, concept is a uh, QM isolation. So next is a technical concept of the, our integration technology. 
So at first, I uh, share the uh, first uh, information of the uh, Linux container. So uh, Linux container is an operating system level uh, virtualization method. So running a multiple isolated Linux system is a continuous or a host using a single Linux kernel. So that detail is an isolate root file system on Linux kernel by using the change root. A control resource by the using C groups and hide resource from other container by using the namespaces. Uh, Linux container is a strong point in embedded environment. So Linux container uh, requires only a uh, Linux BSP, not required to the extra BSP, such as a hypervisor or another virtualization method. So uh, no need to uh, additional uh, virtualization driver uh, de uh, development, uh, because of each uh, driver can easy to share the each uh, guests. And can integrate container-based system over hypervisor. Uh, that means uh, uh, container integration uh, staying on the uh, hypervisor. Uh, low layer uh, isolation method using the hypervisor, uh, high, le high level uh, uh, isolation method using a uh, uh, container. It's uh, easy to integrate it. So te technical detail for the QM isolation. It's a uh, uh, more detail of the integration. Software stack isolation is a we think so should uh, separate root file system between instrument cluster and IBA. It's our QM isolation first concept. So instrument cluster side uh, built by high quality, quality assurance software will not change after the SOP without a critical bug fix. On the other hand, RBI is a built by standard software. It will change after SOP to use the upgrade function. Because typical instrument cluster software stack not including the Wi-Fi function, not having a security issue, it's a low risk. On the other hand, IBI side typically having the Wi-Fi and another outside communication method. It causes many security issues, cyber security issues. So Linux container realize root file system isolation. That means easy to upgrade IBI side user and binaries. So next is uh, computing resource isolation. Uh, CPU shielding based isolation uh, using the uh, CPU, uh, C group uh, CPU set. It uh, realized to isolated uh, scheduling class from instrument cluster container. Uh, we can use uh, real time scheduling isolate, isolated from other containers. That uh, detail shows that these uh, figures. So uh, cluster budget assigns uh, uh, CPU, uh, CPU cores uh, to CPU cores using the CPU set uh, C groups. Uh, IBSI side, IBSI side uh, budgeting the uh, two from two and uh, two from two uh, to uh, five cores. And the uh, memory as, uh, resource isolation. Uh, memory budget uh, guarantee using the C groups memory. This uh, detail uh, shows uh, these figures. So uh, Linux container uh, strong point is uh, uh, easy to rebalancing its uh, strong point. Next is the uh, display isolation and the sharing. Uh, cluster and RBI have separate requirement. So cluster UI uh, required to the high frame rate. RBI UI is uh, difficult to control drawing timing for each RBI apps this side. So QM isolation technology uh, selected a separate uh, compositor architecture. Cluster uh, side having one compositor and uh, IBI side uh, having the one compositor. So it uh, realized uh, isolate compositor frame, uh, frame update timing uh, between uh, uh, cluster and RBI. 
Uh, final uh, point is uh, hide uh, resource from other containers. RBI uh, container has connecting and uh, connectivity devices uh, such as uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, LTE, and more uh, devices. It's a cyber security point of view. Uh, these uh, devices should insert into the container and uh, hide uh, the, to the uh, other container. So it uh, realized easy to realize uh, using the network namespaces. And uh, mount namespace is uh, realized to the uh, character and block device hiding. So it's a uh, Linux container strong point. So a uh, third, uh, third point is a case study for resource control. So it's a uh, more uh, detail of the uh, technical concept part. So uh, target use case is an uh, instrument cluster is a most high level critical part of the, this system. Uh, shall possible to use a real time scheduling inside a container. So internal properties or uh, priorities of own container should not affect other containers. And shall protect a budget from a CPU overload at other containers. That means uh, overloading, if overload the uh, RBI container side, uh, shall we protect the cluster container side uh, budget, CPU budget. And shall keep stable operation, operating environment, so avoid core migration in heterogeneous uh, CPU topology environment. So this figure shows a uh, Reference environment. It is using the RK83. It's a uh, Azure reference hardware. In this case, so two, uh, four high performance core is having, and uh, four uh, high performance core, uh, low, low power core is having. In this case, so uh, should be uh, set the uh, high performance or low performance uh, core. Uh, uh, shall uh, keep to keep a stable operation environment. So our design goal as uh, shown. So requirement is uh, shall possible to use a uh, real time scheduling inside a container. So development item is a uh, real time capability support. Why need uh, this point? So instrument cluster uh, required to real time scheduling use it uh, to keep uh, keeping the frame update rate. And uh, IBI side uh, required to use a real time scheduling to use uh, for, for example uh, audio management uh, and mixing uh, because so uh, this part is a uh, typical uh, high uh, High rate and low latency operation, operation, operation is required, uh, typically need to uh, require to the real time priorities. So, existing knowledge of the, this uh, design, so Linux kernel is already supported the real time scheduling. In container environment, we possible to use a real time group scheduling that realize uh, real time budget control. And this uh, functionality provided by the CPU of C groups. So next point is uh, uh, this uh, slide shown. So requirement is uh, shall protect CPU budget from CPU overload from uh, other uh, container. And shall keep stable operating environment. So this uh, point is a uh, development item is a uh, uh, CPU shielding uh, technology support. If I need uh, this point, so the instrument cluster function must be protected as a function in case of other container overloading by a DOS attack, unknown bugs, and other uh, issues. When the execution context migrate from high performance core to low performance core in heterogeneous CPU uh, topology environment, that uh, execution time will be uh, getting long. So existing knowledge is the uh, most easy way for computing resource control is a CPU core, a CPU core binding to guest container. It provides a power container real-time property design. 
not uh, required to the system-wide priority design. Uh, because uh, system computing resources divide and isolate per core by schedule. Cluster normal priority thread is not uh, blocked by the IBI high priority thread. Uh, this functionality is provided by CPU set subsystem of C groups. So, uh, this slide shows the detail of the key technology. So, what is the real time group scheduling? So, it, it's a part of the uh, C groups uh, feature, uh, depend to uh, this configuration. So, this uh, feature real to CPU time allocation uh, for each real time group. For example, uh, total CPU time is a uh, parent group, and it's 100% uh, uh, of the uh, systems. And uh, this uh, figure uh, defines the three uh, subgroups. 50% uh, uh, allocated the real time group one, and 30% uh, allocated the real time group two. It's uh, easy to uh, configure it. So this feature relates to uh, CPU time allocation for each real time group. Uh, that allocated time can be used ex exclusively or by own groups. The, the other real time group cannot use uh, this uh, budgeting time. But it has a high limitation. The total of the real time budget uh, must be set uh, lower than 100%. For example, uh, group 1 is 90% uh, 90, 90 and group 2 uh, have 10%. Uh, it's OK. But uh, uh, group 2 is 50% uh, is uh, not OK. Uh, it's a uh, limit of the, uh, uh, restriction of the, uh, this feature. So next is uh, uh, CPU shielding technology. Uh, what is the CPU set is uh, uh, it require to the, this uh, kernel configuration. It's a part of the C groups of the future. It uh, provides a, a mechanism for assigning to a set of the CPU and a memory node a set of tasks. Uh, this uh, case study is only a CPU site. For example, uh, total resource, resources are four cores. One core assigned to the CPU set group one, and uh, two cores set in the uh, C, group, C, group two, uh, C, CPU set group two. So in case of the LXC-based LXC -based container, uh, this CPU set uh, group is created per container. So this uh, slide shows that uh, resource uh, uh, assignment go uh, design goal. So core assignment is uh, a one high performance core assigned to instrument cluster site. Two high performance core assigned to RBI site. Other cores uh, don't care. Uh, real time budget is uh, instrument cluster get a real time budget uh, 12.5% of the system, this one. That aim to use fully of uh, one core, uh, one core resources. So I will uh, get a real time budget, 25% uh, of the systems. That aim to use fully uh, two cores. And the core assignment is uh, uh, this uh, slide shown. Uh, yeah. So our uh, initial configuration is uh, uh, these relations. So CPU core zero assigned to the cluster and uh, uh, IVI uh, two cores. So kernel uh, sketched uh, real time payload uh, settings are these parameters. And the uh, uh, real time budget uh, distribu distributed uh, these parameters. So evaluate to the initial configuration. Evaluate to the initial configuration is a condition is a uh, real time inflate loop thread run in the cluster just to uh, calculate uh, CPU usage. 
get uh, CPU uses uh, by uh, proc ps top command. Uh, first result of the uh, test case one. This one. So RT inflate loop thread limited the uh, uh, 12% of the uh, CPU usage, not, uh, cannot use uh, 100%. Second test case is uh, yeah, uh, this slide shown. If uh, real time uh, budget fully assigned to the uh, instrument cluster side, in this case, so uh, configuration is uh, uh, this, this one. That inference loop uh, thread uh, possible to use 100% uh, of the CPU, but uh, cannot use uh, other uh, CPU, uh, the real time priority budget, uh, because it's a limitation of the RT sketch group scheduling. Uh, the uh, issue of the, uh, this uh, evaluation result. The maximum RT budget of the C group uh, is a uh, 100%. A total of all uh, guest budget must be set less than 100%. When uh, cluster guest require to the 100% budget of the one CPU, other guest can't use the real time scheduling. So consideration for the evaluation result. So. CPU uh, RT payload uh, setting means uh, uh, total payload of the all cores. It's an uh, expected behavior. And uh, RT runtime uh, microsec indicated the total runtime of the all cores. But actual behavior is uh, uh, another behavior. So RT payload is uh, indicated the total payload per cores. And the uh, runtime is a similar uh, per core uh, limitation. So that means, so RT group scheduling is conflicting the CPU shielding's design. If uh, we use the CPU shielding, shielding design, the RT scheduling only to use the own guest container. So how to fix these issues? Uh, consideration for RT group scheduling. When we, we do not use a combination with a CPU set CPU, it's a good solution for RT scheduling configuration. So per core runtime restriction is equal system runtime restriction. That is achieved combination with core migration. Uh, detail shows uh, this figure. When we use it in combination with the CPU set CPU, it's, it's not a good solution for RT scheduling configuration. That means, so CPU uh, shielding, using the CPU shielding technology uh, cannot uh, migrate RT thread uh, to other cores. That's a uh, detail as uh, this slide, this uh, figure shows. As a result, uh, our new strategy is is uh, not use RT group scheduling features. So this slide shows the uh, uh, second configuration of the, uh, our design. Core, as a core assignment is uh, similar to previous design. Uh, real time budget uh, only to set the uh, uh, system wide uh, limitation and uh, disabling the uh, RT group scheduling feature. So not set a copper container real time scheduling restriction and the free from restriction for RT group scheduling. That means uh, all uh, subgroup uh, budget uh, need to less than 100% uh, this way. So evaluation to the second configuration. So. Uh, condition is uh, similar to uh, previous uh, evaluation. So result of the test case three. So RT infinite group thread uh, possible to use a 100% of the CPU usage. Uh, RBI side is uh, similar. And the, and the test case four, it's a, uh, 
it's user uh, sketched RR uh, based infrared loop uh, because uh, I want to uh, run the uh, two uh, real time scheduling uh, real time scheduling based uh, thread. So RT infinite uh, loop thread can use uh, the five uh, percent of the uh, half percent of the uh, one CPU and. Uh, one more uh, thread uh, half can use a half pa half of the uh, CPU usage. So, and uh, this uh, result shows the RT infinite loop thread did not affect other guests. So, evaluation result is uh, this configuration realize uh, our design goal. So, co configuration for the evaluation result. So. Expected behavior for new design, as I shown. So all CPU is restricted, restricted only a uh, kernel sketch RT payload microsec and uh, sketch runtime uh, microsec. A just container configuration is free from restriction of the RT group scheduling. That means uh, possible to uh, set 100% real time budget of each guest container. So actual behavior for new design, uh, cluster guest and average guest possible to use 100% of their own CPU cores. So final consideration. So after the disabling the uh, config RT group sketch, uh, guest container configuration is free from restriction for the RT group scheduling. One guest do not affect other guests by CPU CPU set. So this slide shows a uh, case study for uh, this uh, development. So target use case is a uh, uh, protect CPU resource for instrument cluster from other features, and uh, provide a stable runtime environment to instrument cluster. Uh, our design goal is a CPU core isolation with real time capability for each test container. And the issue is that did not realize a design goal by existing knowledge based design. That means uh, uh, RT group sketch is conflict conflicting is a CPU seeding design. So new knowledge of uh, this development. Uh, when we want to use the real time scheduling, scheduling more the two guest container with CPU seeding design. A uh, more better solution is uh, disabling uh, CPU uh, RT group scheduling. When you use uh, uh, this design, uh, we recommend it to set kernel, uh, kernel restriction rate is 19.5%. Uh, uh, or more lower rate, avoid some kernel errors. Uh, because uh, this evaluation uh, timing, so go some uh, kind of uh, error out uh, from uh, slab allocator. So need to uh, decrease 0.5% uh, of the uh, CPU usage. So that rate is uh, depend on your final system design. Uh, final uh, slide shows the con uh, con conclusion. About this presentation, I talking about the AGL instrument cluster AG background and the target systems, and share our QM isolation concept. Uh, share the case study for CPU resource control based QM on QM isolation concept. So that uh, did, uh, that information is uh, defined to design goal and uh, the design and evaluate and the consideration for zero. Uh, result and the improvement uh, design and uh, evaluate it and the fat is analysis. It's a uh, contents of uh, this uh, point. Our future work is a uh, continue to work how to realize as a use case support improvement uh, embedded con Linux container usage. And uh, one more note is uh, as, as a other development work, uh, such as uh, uh, USB device management on uh, US, uh, Linux container environment, and uh, uh, some uh, uh, character device support and uh, more device support uh, work. So please check Azure MM uh, this year's uh, spring presentation. Uh, it 
this slide showing the, this link. That's all. Uh, thank you for uh, joining uh, did my presentation. Uh, have a question or comment? Yeah, please wait for the microphone. <laughs> Uh, hi, <clears throat> thanks for the presentation. Um, have you compared using GPU instead of, uh, you know, separating one core for the uh, for the display, the critical display systems? Because um, I was thinking if you use Vulkan or or something like that, and and using these uh, scripts, uh, the GPU could, uh, you know, update the display mm -hmm. all the time, and then you could just feed in. Uh, new parameters uh, to the scripts for the GPU as needed, so that then you wouldn't have to, you know, wiggle with the resources yeah. of the CPU. Yeah, uh, GPU is a good question. So, <laughs> <laughs> so currently we uh, work to the uh, CPU and uh, yeah. please wait. Uh, Uh, we are developing the uh, DR race uh, technology. It's uh, uh, already uh, upstream the uh, AGL, so it's uh, related to the uh, display device separation. But uh, uh, GPU separation is uh, highly dependent to GPU uh, architecture. <laughs> so, for example, uh, one our uh, your SOC have the uh, two GPU, uh, easy to separate. Uh, uh, Draw uh, GPU, you, GPU, oh, GPU uh, resource and uh, not uh, protect the overload. But uh, uh, typical GPU uh, not having the uh, having the only one. In this case, so we need to uh, use uh, uh, virtualization technology. <laughs> so need uh, this point is a uh, need to uh, develop the extra uh, extra development. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. In Lunasa's case, uh, in our uh, trial development case, so it means uh, Lunasa's case. So, uh, it's having the uh, GPU command prioritization. Uh, I try to use uh, this point and uh, evaluate uh, this, but uh, uh, currently not <laughs> uh, provide more detail because it's having the more. Uh, NDA based <laughs> information <laughs> it's included. <laughs> so we need to check uh, a document of uh, a GPU a document. Uh, need to check your GPU document. <laughs> yes, hello. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Uh, yes, I wanted to ask about the, you mentioned with you use namespaces for uh, resource uh, isolation with, mm. within containers. Uh, but if they have, uh, so if a container has access to uh, to a kernel model, doesn't that affect also uh, could affect also other yeah. containers? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so namespace is uh, easy to uh, easy to uh, divide the uh, uh, resources. So network namespace is a completely. Uh, uh, hindings as a names as a guest uh, because uh, typical. Uh, Container design not share the uh, network namespace. Uh, if uh, you use a network space, it can uh, separate the uh, Wi Fi device, Ethernet device, and uh, some uh, network based devices. But uh, all of the uh, network devices not uh, supporting the uh, network namespace. One of the issues is uh, uh, BlueZ, <laughs> it's not supporting the uh, network namespace. Okay, so it so only uh, divides the resource by namespace because the other uh, containers will not be able able to access it, but the usage of the of the module itself can actually access uh, memory from other resources, right? From other containers. Uh, your question is: uh, 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 device uh, separation is only uh, my design is uh, device se separation only to use. Uh, uh, namespace or, or not. Ah, okay. yeah. yeah, like the character device is only visible to one container. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Typical uh, case is uh, uh, 
Yes, yeah, that's right. So, uh, uh, for example, a GPU case is uh, a, its user uh, uh, two containers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>